Hi there, Georgette Rowland here from Financial Gym and today I'm going to show you a great little feature in Xero which will help you cut down clicks between your email and Xero contacts. Now Xero Online has a lovely feature which allows you to see all your customer or and or supplier emails together with your customer and supplier transactions and activity in one place under the contact record in Xero. So why would you bother? Why would you want to do this? Well, there are a number of really good reasons, but the three main ones that I think, number one, you just simplify your workflow. We spend so much time clicking in and out of things to find information. So we go into one program. So you may, you may go into zero to find your transactions and to see what bills have or haven't been paid. But maybe you're chasing a customer for payment or suppliers chasing you. So you can just go into your zero contact and see what your last correspondence was in your emails with them. Secondly, because we're working online and even though we're working online, it does slow down your computer and use up a lot of memory. So you can cut down on the number of tabs you have at any one time, assuming you don't want to send and receive emails. Because if you're looking at the contact email within the zero tab, you can't actually send an email from there. So that's one um, downside, but obviously that's fine. But the other thing as well is if you're working in a team, particularly from a customer perspective, if you are handling a customer and one of your colleagues speaks to them or takes a call from them, they can go in zero and see what the last correspondence and what the last activity was. And they can help them rather than them taking a message or waiting for you to be free or vice versa. You can help one of your colleagues. So from a customer service point of view, it greatly improves things. So how do you do this? It's really, really simple. OK, so if we go over to zero, I'm going to contacts. I'm going to use this one, this one as an example. So we've got first capital cash flow. Now, this particular connection or this particular business uses Office 365 as its email client. So if I go over to Office 365, I should be able to bring over and you'll see there, there's the contact in 365. So this is the email that we should be using for them. So if I copy that email address, I go back over to zero. So in zero, I click edit under the contact. And I'll just put in first capital because I'm not, not going to put the real person's name. If there isn't a real person for this one, which is why I've chosen this contact. In Windows, if you do control V or command V on Apple, that as the email and that's all I'm going to do and then I'm going to save that. Now you can do this afterwards once you do the connection. So say for example you came in and you wanted to um, connect your email provider and there was no email you could actually go in and do it after and it would show up subsequently. So here you can see under activity, it said I've added a new primary email address. So in order to connect to your email provider, if you click on the email tab and it, you can you can do this under any contact, it will work across the board. So you don't have to have a specific, it's not individual, you can do it and it will update across all the contacts in Xero. And here it says connect your Gmail or Office 365 email to Xero. Now you need to already be signed in for it to be automatic or you click on one of those and it will ask you to sign in. Now, in this one, I'm with 365, so I'm just going to click on 365 and it should just automatically sign me in. So trying to sign you in. And here we go. Yep. It's shown that it's already there. OK, so it says we couldn't find any emails from contact in Gmail because we don't have any, but we do have obviously in 365. So as and when any emails come in from this email address in my Office 365, they will show up in here. So here's one I prepared earlier and you can see it's populated with the emails that have come over from 365. The beauty is that you can also add emails, not just to the overall contact activity, you can also add emails to an individual 
invoice, it's a sales invoice, you can add an email to a quote or add an email to a new bill. So if, for example, you click on here, it will take you into the bill screen. You can create the bill and the details from this email will populate the history of that bill and so forth with the others. And if at any time you decide you don't want to use this feature anymore, you can simply come over here and click disconnect and the email link between Zero and your email provider will disappear and you can put it back again. The only caveat is the emails must still be residing in your email client. So if you've deleted them, they won't show over here. It can only read what still lives in your email. And that's it. Hope that was useful.